You wouldn't have I bridges can't. without math. I don't care at this point. We have to find a common denominator. Denominator. Then what are you talking about? The... We're still on the first problem. It's been like 10 minutes. And numbers are getting bigger. They're not getting smaller. <laughs> I'm not it. trying to be stupid. I'm not faking it. I have yeah. no idea what the f is going okay, okay. 31 over 30. Uh-oh. Can't have that. No. So we have to simplify that. To one and one. 30th. There's probably some fifth grader out there who's way smarter than I am. 11 and 3 tenths. Because math. Because math. I'm gonna be a horrible father. They're gonna come to me for advice <laughs> like, Dad, how do I do this? And I'm just gonna like have to fake a heart attack or something. We already have 332, and we just started. I don't know, I don't know. This is just too, it's stressing me out. Where did we go wrong? No! Go Who cares? Wrong? My elementary school teacher called this guy Zero the Hero. Ooh. This Five, is a lot of eight, work to get the answer ten, wrong. No! It was okay. almost worth the, the, the 25 minutes it took to do that. Oh, I gotta put stuff up here, right? Patience, it's the key to long division. How do you decide if you've got like, you know, 40 cookies and five people to share them with, how do you figure out how to get an even number of cookies for all your friends? Well, that's easy, because I never have boxes of 82 cookies and 4,321 people to feed. You could honestly give me a million dollars if I got this on my own. A million dollars and I wouldn't get it. I knew I borrowed wrong. Oh, that's embarrassing. No! No one's enjoying this, nobody. Oh, it fits perfect. Look at Whoa! that. <laughs> I feel like a big boy now. This is amazing. Oh, wait. Hello. <laughs>